Healthcare is at the epicenter of economic insecurity in the United States, a reflection of our nation's uniquely fragmented and costly framework of health insurance. Now, this framework is distinctively American, and any effort to improve it must be distinctively American as well, building on the best elements of the present system, large group health plans in the public and private sectors. But an American solution must also fix what is not working by allowing Americans without access to secure workplace coverage to choose among group insurance plans that provide strong guarantees of quality, affordable coverage over time. To succeed, these reforms must be based on three strong pillars, shared risk, shared responsibility, and personal responsibility. Shared risk means we need a new national insurance exchange that allows workers without secure coverage to access good group health plans with premium assistance to ensure affordability. To promote competition and accountability, this exchange must also include, as a choice, a public health insurance plan competing with private insurers. Now, this public health insurance plan is a linchpin of a distinctively American strategy. It will provide a backup for those without workplace insurance in all parts of the nation. Indeed, in most of the country, especially rural areas, insurance markets are highly consolidated and private plans are passing on costs to enrollees and employers rather than bargaining with increasingly consolidated provider groups or improving their own efficiency. A public plan must also provide a benchmark for private plans, pressing them to focus on value and innovation rather than shifting costs or screening out high-risk patients. And finally, a public plan will provide a cost control backstop. Public insurance has lower administrative expenses than private plans, it obtains larger volume discounts, it does not have to earn a profit, and experience suggests it has a superior ability to control spending while maintaining broad access over time. Now, I would encourage the committee to ensure that the public plan has an extensive network of hospitals and doctors immediately. And the simplest and most efficient way to build the network is to assume that all doctors and hospitals that accept Medicare payments are in the network, but give them the choice to opt out. The plan should also have the authority to use modified Medicare rates and to employ information technology and new payment approaches and care coordination strategies to improve efficiency and quality. If we are to truly bend the curve of health spending, the public and private sectors will have to work together, competing on a level playing field. This task cannot fall on private insurers or the Medicare program alone. Make no mistake, Americans want to have the choice of enrolling in a public insurance plan. In a recent poll, 72% supported this option, including a majority of Republicans. Another recent poll found 83% support. The other two pillars of an American solution are shared and personal responsibility. This means that employers and individuals should be expected to contribute to the cost of their coverage once affordable options are available. Employer responsibility, sometimes known as player pay, is vital in ways that are not always properly understood. Yes, it provides an important source of funding, reducing the direct cost of reform to the federal government. But it also ensures that reform will not undermine employment-based health insurance. In the absence of a player pay requirement, Firms with large numbers of low-wage workers who qualify for new subsidies for insurance within the exchange will have less incentive to insure their workers directly. Moreover, employer responsibility requirements serve to level the playing field between firms that do and do not provide coverage. In player pay proposals, employer contributions are not penalties. They are payments for the coverage of workers whose enrollment in the exchange flows from the employer's decision to contribute. This ensures that the roughly 95% of non-elderly Americans who work or live in the family of a worker have access to good insurance through the workplace connection. And while there are valid concerns about small employers, a survey by Small Business Majority found support from more than half of small business owners in California for reform along these lines. They were willing to accept the requirement to contribute to health care in return for the ability to access an affordable plan for their workers. Concerns about small businesses, where most uninsured workers are employed, will be best addressed through a sliding scale requirement on firms, rather than by excluding small firms from the requirement altogether. Shared risk, shared responsibility, personal responsibility. These are the pillars of a uniquely American solution. Together, they will create accountability in American health insurance 
expand coverage while making it more affordable for workers and their families, and adequately fund our health care priorities while putting in place the preconditions for long-term savings to the federal government.